Hello guys and welcome to my channel, Gaming with Amco Wash. I'm Amco Wash, and today we're doing a Let's Go Pikachu walkthrough. Now it's not going to be just any normal walkthrough, it's going to be a limited basic walkthrough. What that means, I'm going to impose two rules on myself that the game does not. First rule is, I'm going to limit myself to only have four Pokemon in my party in one given time instead of the normal six. And the second rule is that I'm only going to use basic Pokemon throughout this entire walkthrough guys. Now let's get started. This is my first time going through Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. So I'll be exploring along the way with these rules. We got Pikachu coming up here. It's kind of a cool animation. I've been playing these Pokemon since Pokemon Red and Blue. So it's cool to see how they improved throughout the years. Hello there and glad to meet you. Seems like he's still talking, but no other words coming out. Alright, welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. And if you want to know how people tend to interact with these Pokemon, well, some keep them as companions, other have them do battle. As for myself, I study them as a profession. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Oh wow, get a actually customize your character here. I think I'm just gonna go with the default one. And then I'm obviously gonna name myself M Kowash. It's kind of interesting using the Joy-Con here and not just using an actual controller. I'll be definitely needing to get these some used to here. And I'm a little clunky here, we'll try to get that a little ironed out throughout the walkthrough. Right, so your name is M. Kowash. Yes, it is. All right, Pikachu's running to a possible rival here. This boy here is your friend and rival. That's what I thought. What is his name again? I think I'm going to name my rival, um, do Chris. Looks like a Chris. All right, we don't get to customize our rival, huh? Gonna look the same throughout every walkthrough, huh? It was Chris, was it? Yes, it was. Hmm, I see. His name is Chris. Ha! <laughs> Pikachu pops up again. M. Koash, my boy. Your very own Pokemon tale is about to unfold. Yes, a world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. Going back through the TV. Whoa. There's a Pokemon Switch right on the table there. It's kind of cool. Animation in this game looks pretty dang good. All right. You always got to check out the PC. First thing in every Pokemon game. Gotta check out that PC. So let's go check it out. Email from Chris. Of course there is. Hey, I'm Kowash. Press the A button and you talk to all kinds of people. If you tilt the control stick, uh, more you can run. Plus, if you open up the main menu by pressing the X button, you can save your progress too. Well, that's nice of them. Let them know. Boy, I can't wait to get started. Can you? I cannot. Let's see what we got here. Coming up. Up and at um. Oh, it's our rival. Morning, Amco Wash. What is going on? You got one weird look on your face. Do I? Ah, uh, never mind that. Could wait any longer. So I came to get you. Today's finally the big day. Finally get our first Pokemon from Professor Oak and become real trainers. Ah, uh, before we do. You had the email I sent you yesterday, right? I sure did. Better have checking your computer if you didn't. I already did. I'm gonna book it to the Professor Oaks lab, so see you there. Except pretty sure Professor Oaks not gonna be there. Alright, head down the stairs here. Wow, this game looks pretty good. Let's see what Pallet Town looks like. Also oh, a nice little cutscene animation here. Wow, Palatone looks great. 
I'm loving the updated graphics here. Let's go talk to Professor Oak. Got Pidgeys. Well, my good Pidgey, thanks for the help. I think I understand you a bit better now, thanks to this. Wow. Oh, cool. Fly away. Oh, if it isn't for M. Kowash. That is me. Oh, of course, I promised to give you and Chris Pokemon today, didn't I? Sure did. Well, in that case, why don't we head over to... Huh? Oh, what is this? Is that our Pikachu? Hope we're gonna run into, looks like a wild encounter here with Pikachu. Yep, encountered a wild Pikachu. My, my, I surely wouldn't have expected a Pikachu to appear around here. But since the opportunity has presented itself, why don't we practice some Pokemon catching? Just have to throw a Pokeball and try to land it on a wild Pokemon for the chance to catch it. All right, how do we do this here? Hold your Joy-Con horizontally, point it at the screen. A button to ready a Pokeball. Oh, okay. Sounds easy enough here. I'm gonna try this out. It's a little five Pikachu. Don't forget your surroundings, yeah, no, no joke. All right, ooh, it's a little bit harder than I thought it was. Keep an eye on the rings, okay. It looks like green rings here. It might be easier to catch. Like Pokemon Go. We've got a great throw. Let's see if we can catch it here. Mm, yep. Looks like we got it. Caught the Pikachu. Wish I could say it was on the first try, but first try where I actually hit the Pikachu. Can't even see if that's gonna be a normal thing. It's a fine performance for a first timer, my boy. Why don't you pick up the Pokeball and give that Pikachu you got a name? Don't mind if I do. What in the world is going on with this Pokeball here? It's a lively Pokemon I've ever seen one. No joke. <clears throat> what? Hey, wait, come back. We gotta have to chase down this Pikachu. Oh, just gonna, oh, there's three now. I wonder if one of my Pikachu is one of those. Professor Oak, these Pokeballs there, I swear they're only two seconds ago. From now, there are three. Perfectly reasonable reaction, my boy. You see, one of them is the Pikachu that M. Kowash caught just now. So, wait, M. Kowash, you caught it yourself? Why is it so hard to understand, I guess? Sure, of course I did. Never seen that happen before. Woo, how interesting. Well, my boy, this is it. Take the Pokeball and keep a good hold of it this time. I will have to. All right. I'm assuming it's gonna be this middle one here. Oh. And there's the Pikachu. <laughs> Where'd the Pokeball go? It's kind of interesting. <laughs> Pikachu's playing a little bit. Seems to like us. All right. Pikachu became your Pokemon. All right. Wonder if we could have chose a different Pokemon here. Doubt it. Hmm, what a strange Pokemon indeed. Sure doesn't seem like to be staying in the Pokeball, but it looks as though it's taking a shine to you, M. Kowash. Why not give it a name? Don't mind if I do. Go ahead and nickname our Pikachu here. I'm gonna nickname it Sparks, I think. <laughs> it's a good name for a Pikachu. Let me know what you think in the comments below of the name Sparks for Pikachu. All right, sparks have been added to your party. One. All right, he's gonna choose that one. He didn't catch, oh, we got an Eevee. He didn't catch his own Pokemon like we did. Time to go. Senator's trainers like to ask you for something. Take this with you on your journey. 
gonna give us a Pokedex. Um, what is that thing, Professor? This is the Pokedex that I've assigned. Sure is. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught, and it makes an entry for each. The extremely high-tech tool. And Coash and Chris, I want each of you to take one. All right. Go ahead and take this Pokedex with us. You get a Pokedex from Professor Oak. All right. Get very detailed data on Pokemon by just seeing them. You must catch a Pokemon to gather the most complete data. Complete guide to all the Pokemon in the world. That was my dream, but I'm an old man now. Too old to get the job done myself. That's why I want you young trainers to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. It's a great undertaking in Pokemon history. Yeah, it is. Pokedex, huh? We're going to meet so many Pokemon. This keeps getting better and better. I'm setting out right now, Mkowash. You should do the same. I like how he leaves and it's still going. <laughs> For the text. That's pretty funny. All right. Let's head out. All right. Load screen was a little bit there. Oh, how cute. This is one that you got from the professor? What? You caught it yourself? I should call you new friend Sparks. All right. How energetic. I suppose that means you two will be setting off. Thought this day might come soon, so I planned ahead. You got a town map from your mom. All right. Using town map in the bab, you always know exactly where you are. Safe travels, dear. You and Sparks will be good to each other. All right, Mom. Let's head out. Talk to some of the people here. See what they have to say. Technology is incredible. Now you can connect your smartphone to your game console and send data between them. Assuming they're talking about the Pokemon Go app in this game. I'm raising Pokemon too. When they get strong, they'll be able to protect me. All right. They sure will. Let's check out the rival's house, see what they got in store here. M. Kowash, I heard both of you Chris got Pokemon. I'm happy for you. That's it. All right. Looks like we already got the town map, so nothing in the garbage. All right, let's head off. Head on to the first route here, route one. And I'm not running into Pokemon here. It's going to get, oh, forgot that there's no wild encounters here. You actually get to see the Pokemon you run into. Sometimes they still dodge right in front of you. Canada Wild Rat. Let's go ahead and catch this thing. Ooh, it's, this uh, throwing the Pokeball thing is a little bit harder than it looks here. All right, great throw. Let's see if we can catch it. Um, and we did. Kind of, we added Rattata to our team. I don't know if the Rattata is going to stay on our team here, but we'll, we caught it at least for the experience here. 14 experience. That's going to be added to our Pokedex here. All right, add it to the party. I right, got a Pidgey came up. Let's go ahead and catch a Pidgey too. Why not? It's a flying Pokemon. Need one of those in our walkthrough anyway. Got an excellent throw here. Should be good. It had a green ring on it and we caught that one as well all right so we're adding Pidgey to our party as well already at three Pokemon didn't even haven't even got to the next city yet already got three Pokemon Sparks is level six and learned quick attack right to grew to level four wow level up I like the animation there all right very docile if attacked it'll kick up all right that doesn't matter. Keep going. Talk to this youngster here. See what... Oh. Pikachu. Looks like found something. 
Got a raspberry. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. And use that and catch some Pokemon. I'm assuming like it's gonna be like in Pokemon Go. For my favorite Pokemon later. So we'll do some battle man when I do. Alright. On to Viridian City. The old man sitting on a bench here. Oh no, you're working on Pokedex? Then I'll give you a piece of advice. You'll do well to stock up on Pokeballs at the Pokemon before you continue your adventure. Don't mind if I do. Oh my gosh, that is Jesse and James from Team Rocket. What do you want? You can't pass through here right now. Tragic like we don't know who these people are. We're in the middle of guard duty, and it's important. What are you doing here, Twerp? Oh my gosh. Jesse and Jane of Team Rocket. Alright, well there's another route over here. We're definitely going to Route 22. Let's see what Pokemon we can catch in here. Mm, I'm actually not seeing any Pokemon. Oh, here we go. Got a Spiro. <clears throat> Countered Wild Spiro. Wow, it is a little bit harder to do this. It's taking a little get you used to. Oh, it attacked me. Dang. I right, use three Pokeballs on the Spiro here. Got a nice throw. Hopefully they'll help us catch it here. It's Looks like an easy catch, so sure was. All right, so we added Spiro to our party as well. I don't know if Spiro is gonna maintain our party or not, just because we already have a flying Pokemon in Pidgey. <clears throat> All right. Oop, that's a Nidoran. Go ahead and see if we can catch that Nidoran. It is interesting still using the just the one Joy-Con here. Took me a little bit to actually run into this Pokemon. Use its attack. Deflect my Pokeball. That is rude. All right, got a great throw here. Just like that. Got another Pokemon to add to our party. All right, so we're at, that makes five Pokemon already. So I'm gonna have to um, take another Pokemon out of the party here. To be in compliance with our four Pokemon. Let's see how I do I do that here. Um, this is just moving a Pokemon. It's not gonna remove my party here. Um, Pokemon box. Oh, this may be it. There you go. Move from party. We'll take the Spiro out. They'll leave us the Rattata, Pidgey, Nidoran, and the Pikachu. So we're already at four Pokemon in our party, and we're already having to put Pokemon in our box. We haven't really done anything on this walkthrough yet, but it is already at a point where we have to scale down on Pokemon here. We've got to be smart on our walkthrough. You were there, you kid from Palatown. Sure am. Hey, you came from Palatown? You must know Professor Oak. I'm delivered for him, but I can't leave the Pokemon Mart unattended right now. Can I get you to take this Professor Oak for me? All right, I guess. Took the parcel from Professor. Oh, okay. Thanks, kid. Say hi to the professor for me. Will do. Oh, and head straight back to the lab. Is he going to fast travel me there? It sure is. That is pretty cool instead of having to walk all the way back. All right. Why am Kowash back so soon? How's your little Pikachu doing? Hmm? <laughs> Crawl up on my shoulder, huh? Goodness me, Pikachu seems to be really like it. Come from a true partner to you, M. Kowash. Then you got what it takes to become a great Pokemon trainer. What's that? You have something for me? Gave the parcel. So my order arrived. Thank you for bringing it to me. Oh, there's my. Rival. Oh, M. Kowash. Pikachu just rides on you like that? Oh, now we have Chris as well. What great timing. Delivering some very handy items. Got some raspberries from Professor Oak. Add that to my collection. 
great. I've been starving. Stop you right there, son. Those berries are for Pokemon to eat and not you. When you want to catch Pokemon, try throwing one of those at the target for you take a Pokeball in hand. You'll find wild Pokemon will be so very happy to have a berry to nibble on. They'll become easier to catch for you. That was close. I nearly swallowed one of those right up myself. That's funny. Now then, you two. Time for you to decide if you want to catch lots of different Pokemon or simply focus on training up your favorites. My only request is that you have fun either way. We're going to be catching some Pokemon. Chris, wait up. Come on, Amkowash. You know you can do more than Pokemon than just catch them, right? If you're a trainer, you can have Pokemon battles. I'll show you exactly what I mean. It's battle time. We're going to be taking on a rival here. Challenged by Pokemon trainer Chris. Sending out his Eevee. So I already have a couple Pokemon here, which normally it's a one on one battle here, but I have a couple Pokemon already. Let's go ahead and Thundershock the Eevee. See how much that's going to do. Alright, I mean, it's not, not bad. Not bad. Tackle. It also didn't do that bad. Keep Thunder Shocking. I think we'll do all right. Ooh. All right. Um, continue to Thunder Shock it here, I think. Oh, didn't quite get there. We'll do a quick tag, make sure it's first. And that should be it. Eevee fainted. 32 experience points. Grew to level 7. Love it. How weird, but it's only one stat went up. Grew to level 5. Pidgey learned Gust. Defeated Pokemon Trainer Chris. What? That easy. I went off mountain like I knew everything, then I lost. How embarrassing. Probably should have trained up my Pokemon a bit more before trying to battle like that, huh? I think so. Let's battle again sometime. Alright. Enjoy your first taste of battle. Partner pictures seem to like it a lot. Alright. Let's head off to the next city here. I like how fast traveling me back, but... Oh, hey, Mkosh. Just a look at Pikachu. Two are looking like great partners. I have a perfect little gift for such a great team. Got sportswear. And a clothing trunk. Try putting it on Pikachu. You go to Venture and matching clothes. Oh, you can customize your Pikachu. That's pretty, pretty awesome. So it's not just a basic Pikachu here. Let's see what we. Oh, you can. What is this? Oh, you can pet your Pikachu. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right, let's try it out here. Seem to seem to be annoyed that I'm touching it. Oh, here we go. There we go. That's kind of interesting. Alrighty, what? How do we do this? Change clothes here. Well, that's still more animations here. Instructions on how to do other things. You can give your Pokemon a berry. It's kind of cool. But still, wish it was a little more basic on how to. All right, you give. Since you found this berry, you can have this one. Cool little animation there. I don't know what it really does for me, but it's a cool animation. We'll try it out later. Seems like Pikachu wants to play. Don't forget to show it some love from time to time. Play with Sparks has been added to the main menu. Press X button to go see. Select this option to play with Sparks whenever you want. That's kind of cool. All right. Just continue on the journey here. Already have our, a full party. Party is subject to change, but we will see. 
Does this youngster want to fight yet? Looks like he does. Trainer's eyes have met. It's time to battle. All right. Youngster Ronnie. Got a Rattata. That's his favorite Pokemon. That's interesting. We're going to go ahead and maybe just Thundershock it here. Yeah, let's Thundershock. How much damage is that going to do? It's going to do a decent amount. Tackle. Tackle didn't do hardly anything here. Let's go ahead and Thundershock it again. And that should be it. And youngster Ronnie only has the one Pokemon, it looks like. At 12 experience points. Defeated Youngster Ronnie. Look at that. Oh, it's cool you get some Pokeballs at the end of the battle here. Arrival, right, want to fight already again? Huh? You look pretty pleased about something, Emco Lunch. Oh, you beat another trainer? Good job. Well, since we're on the topic, Pokemon you sent in battle might have lost some HP or PP. You should take them to the Pokemon Center and get them healed up. Doesn't cost any money and doesn't take long at all either. Just remember, heal up after battles. It's a good tip. Definitely a good tip. So we'll go ahead and try that out. Even though I don't think I lost very much HP in the last battle. I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. Oh, that's kind of cool that they're all the pixel sprites. Thank you for waiting. Pokemon should be all better now. Hope to see you again soon. Let's go ahead and talk to some of these people here. Feel free to read any of the books on the magazine rack in the corner. Receptionist told me so. It's so kind of her. I don't know if I'll be reading any of those books. If you catch a lot of Pokemon, they'll be tucked away in the Pokemon box. You have a Pokemon box in your bag too, don't you? I sure do. Which is kind of cool they added it to the bag so you can access this Pokemon anytime. There's Pokemon Center. They charge no money, so don't be shy about healing your Pokemon. Have you battled a trainer? Pokemon speed stat is higher than the opposing Pokemon speed stat. You'll attack first. It's good to know. We'll have to pay attention to that speed stat. All right, so we should be able to head out here. This is probably gonna be a wrap up the first episode, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more content like this one. Thank you for watching and We'll see you on the next video.